Hey guys, Skylimit Heights here and welcome back to another scratch video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a pendulum using the pen extension and some math. Later on we can turn this into a game, but for now I'm just going to be teaching you how to make a simple pendulum that swings back and forth. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so first off we're going to make our sprites. We're going to be needing three sprites. The first one is our ball, which is what is swinging. And we are going to make this blue ball and center it. And the second sprite we're going to be needing is our anchor. And this is what the pendulum is basically anchored to. And I'm going to make this green and make this a bit smaller. Move it to the center. The final sprite we're going to be needing is a pen. And this is the thing that draws our rope. And as you can see here, I did some previous experimenting, and the rope is still here. So I'm going to erase this, and then I'm going to draw a tiny dot for our pen. And now our uh, sprites are set up, we can start doing the code. So first thing we're going to do is go to Anchor, and drag a When Green Flag Clicked block, and then a Go To block and set this to zero, 00. Note that this is really important because zero, 00 is the center of the screen and if it's not centered, uh, the pendulum won't work. And now we're going to go to ball, go to events, drag a one green flag clicked block, and then drag a broadcast message block. I'm going to zoom this in a little. Uh, and we're going to make a new message called draw rope. So this message, basically, every time we call it, it's going to draw um, a straight line from our anchor to our ball. And this is going to be the string. Now we have draw rope. We can go to pen and drag a when I receive draw rope. And then we actually have to draw the rope. And to do that, we need to erase the background, first of all. And then put our pen up. And then we're going to go to our roof or our anchor and pen up is important because if we didn't put our pen up and it went to anchor it would draw a line like it would leave a trail and we don't want that so we want to put our pen up and then we're going to go to anchor go back to pen and set the pen color to whatever we want and i'm going to make this black also we can hide our pen sprite at the beginning so the users don't have to see a black dot that is drawing the line. Finally, we can put our pen down, then go to go to ball. So this is going to draw a black line from our anchor to our ball. Let's go ahead and test this. And now you can see it draws a line from our anchor to our ball. So that's working perfectly. Now we can initialize our variables. We're going to need three of them. The first one is angle. And this keeps track of the current angle of our pendulum. And the second one is start angle. This is the basically the starting angle of our pendulum, and this is not going to change uh, once we initialize it. So go ahead and press OK. And the final one we need is rope length. This is the length of the string, and we'll also we'll, it won't change as well. Alright, so we don't need this broadcast draw rope anymore because we already did our tests. So let's just go ahead and drag this back in here. Now we have to set our values of our variables, uh, starting with angle. I'm going to set this to 120 for convenience. And also we have to set our start angle to 120 as well. And these two should be the same because we're starting on 120, so the current angle should be 120. Finally, we're going to draw, um, drag, uh, set rope length to 150. This is just a random number. You can make it smaller if you want, but this is an ideal number. And then we're going to set our X and Y of our ball. To calculate this, we need some trigonometry, and I won't get into that. Just copy what I'm doing. So set X to, uh, we're going to need a multiply, and then rope length in the first one, in the first bubble. And then we need a um, sign of block, which is this one. 
it's going to say absolute value, but let's change this to sine. And then drag angle in here. And now we're going to need our set Y block because we need to set the Y value as well. It's going to be the same thing, except instead of sine, we're going to need cosine. All right, so let's go in and test this. And oh, yeah, we got to draw the draw the rope. Uh, go to events, broadcast, draw rope. OK, so now, as you can see, it's 120 degrees, uh, given that this would be zero degrees, this would be 90 degrees, this would be 120, 180, and so on. So this is 120 degrees, and it works perfectly. Now we can get into the second part of the code, which is the actual movement. First, we're going to need to reset our timer, because we're going to be using the timer. And then we're going to drag a forever block down here. And then we have to set the x and y again because we've got to update the x and y every time then broadcast draw rope because we need to draw a rope as well and finally we can change our angle every iteration and to do that we're going to need a pretty complex formula uh, just bear with me here it's a plus so we're going to drag this plus block uh, and then another plus, and inside this third thing, we're going to drag a multiply. So now you can see we have four, four bubbles. Um, and then we're going to drag a sine of block in this bubble, sine of. And then we're going to drag another multiply block. And in the last one, we're going to put 100. And this is just like a scale up. Um, to make sure our pendulum moves fast enough and then drag a timer block in the second one then put 60 here and 60 here as well and you can see it's actually starting to move 60 here as well finally we're going to put our start angle in the last bubble oops in here okay that's a pretty long uh, piece of code but it's necessary to make sure our pendulum moves right. And basically, just to explain, this is our start angle. Uh, this would be, these two numbers would be like how much the pendulum swings. So if it was smaller, it would swing like less, like this. And if it was bigger, it would swing like more, like that. And these two generally should be the same if you want the pendulum swinging equally. And don't worry about this. Part, it's just part of the formula and this is just a scale up to make sure our pendulum doesn't move like like this because if this was not a hundred then it would move like extremely slow and now we can test this and it should work let's see here and as you can see it's swinging and once it hits its peak it actually slows down as well which is the beauty of this uh, formula and that is because of this sign and if you don't know trigonometry, sine basically um, iterates back and forth. It goes from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. So this would just swing back and forth, and it would dampen as it reaches, like, this peak. And if we change this to, like, a smaller number, you can tinker this uh, by yourself if you want. It's actually pretty fun to see. You can see it doesn't swing equally. Uh, and to fix that, we need to change this to another number, like 150. These two numbers should add up to 180, so go ahead. This plus this, uh, these two should add up to 180. So if you want us to swing equally, just um, change this first and then subtract uh, 180 by this. If you want it to swing like, let's just say 90 degrees, then you change this to 90, change this to 90. Let's go ahead and stop this. And then change this, these two to 90, and it should swing like, you can see here it goes vertical, 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 vertical. I'm actually going to leave a note in here. So if you guys want to look into it and you want to tinker with the numbers, you can. So uh, angle plus uh, this number. Angle plus uh, change uh, equals to 180. So for example... If you start at 120, 
these two numbers should be 60. Okay, that's just a little note so you guys don't get confused when you look into this project. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.